We are looking at Kobati or Kerkobach spin fighters in the United States. We're going to talk about launchers, but not this kind of traditional style launcher. You might be more familiar with the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers one in the U.S. This one is a Japanese release. Same shape, but there was also these mini launchers. Here I have a worn down but still new in the package uh, kind of mini shooter. Kind of got the mini size, but some big power to release your spin fighter toys. So this is kind of the smaller version of those launchers. Much more compact in Japan, even with a keychain feature. We got 1994 as a date on there for a year. And just kind of generic uh, picture of some spin fighters there. No theming on this one, just of the product that can shoot any of them. And then of course in Japan also Sailor Moon got a mini launcher. They did get the kind of traditional larger size one with the flip open. Uh, and you can see a whole video where I look at this one and all the Sailor Moon spin fighters that I have to show. Uh, but here I have two on the card and we can see this one's a much brighter pink and this one seems to have been faded or something. So uh, we might open this one up just to check out. I'll probably keep this one on the card for the collection. Uh, but actually they were released in the U.S. with the Thunder Stadium, which is kind of a Power Ranger themed arena, but it did come with these tiny launchers. They're exactly the same as the others I've shown here from Japan. These are kind of the U.S. release of them. I came with the, the Thunder Stadium, it was a big kind of stadium thing to launch your things in, and then did come with the exclusive Zordon Spin Fighter, and then just as a villain to match it, came with Lord Zed, but he got a two-pack release later on his own as well, with just individual packs you can buy. Didn't have to buy the arena just to get Lord Zed, but needed to get a bigger set to get Zordon. So I don't have the Thunder Stadium, because it's just kind of a cheap plastic, nothing too special really. Uh, here's kind of a Japan arena. It's a harder plastic, it's not just a cheap plastic. So we can use this to do some testing, but the Thunder Stadium also came with these, which are just weird little plugs for your spin fighter, and I didn't quite ever understand what they were for. I mean, you can still wind and launch these. And I don't know if it was just for the cheap plastic that this was kind of a rubber nub to help, uh... Help it slide around in there, or what, but... Uh, they still spin just fine with that on there. Whoa! Uh, they might act a little more irregular than normal <laughs> with those on. So maybe that was the idea. You wanted them to kind of move strangely in the arena to get around all the different parts of the arena. Otherwise, I'm not sure what the nubs are really supposed to do. It just slides on and off just fine. Uh, so what I wanted to do is kind of use these and just see if they are actually as strong as the bigger launchers. So it has the same uh, thing and then just one button to launch. So we can kind of just see how long one lasts from the mini launcher and then we'll just do the same one in the bigger one just to see if it's about the same or if these are kind of less powered just because of the smaller uh, size. So let's try. Pretty long-lasting, whole minute, pretty much. They were made uh, a little later than these. They, they might actually end up being stronger, even though they're smaller than these. Uh, so we'll see here. Here's just a regular launcher just to compare the time. Uh, pretty much the same strength. So they're just kind of a compact version of that. And I think it was really smart in Japan to do the keychain. Looks like here's where the keychain would have been, and they've just kind of molded over it. They didn't do the keychain thing for the U.S. release. I think probably kids in Japan more likely to just actually have keys to get through gates and get back into their housing and apartments around the cities. Uh, so pretty smart to just do the keychain thing. Uh, if you're carrying around part of the product there, you're more likely to maybe remember and maybe go to the store buy some more spin fighters for your launcher because you have it with you all the time, ready to play. So just for your entertainment, uh, we'll open up one of the Sailor Moon on Mint on Card, 1994. Oh my gosh, I'm going to open original Sailor Moon merch. I'm a fool! But I'm opening it for you. Enjoy. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you can see, <laughs> look at the, the difference in the pink. So I don't know, I think this baked in the sun somewhere here. It even comes with an exclusive Sailor Moon Spin Fighter. Oh yes, Sailor Moon S. Of course this, this has the wind off tip unlike the US releases. 1992, molded on. A yellow tip. Now they had some kind of standard releases, where it's just a black, but it's still the screw-on back here. Here's just a silver. And then there was the special set with the pink tip, but it had that gold. So, just an extra different picture for Sailor Moon. But the launcher here, and this has the keychain part, which is pretty cool. Looks like there's just a hook down inside there, and then it's just a round. A big, huge... Hooking part here to attach whatever you're going to attach. I've never seen this kind of mechanism before that once it's unhooked you can get it over the notch here and then close the hook part. Huh. Pretty cool. And this is just kind of the bendier part there. Neat. Of course, we just have a sticker for the appearance, but it's supposed to be a nicer pink plastic, but this one has faded, but I have a nicer one we can keep in the packaging over there. I would like to find one of these to open as well, but this is the only one I have right now. It's kind of a dent there and a little yellowing on there, so if I can find a nicer one, maybe that's the one I can keep in the card and we can open this up at some time. Right now, this is the only one I've got, so we'll keep looking and... Uh, we'll see, but these mini launchers are pretty nice for just the convenience, uh, less likely to be breaking. Uh, just a simpler, you know, one button launch here, you're just winding it up. You know, maybe just not as fancy as the others, but... Just a little handier to have on you. Lord Zed can take on Sailor Moon here, just to see. Oh, and Sailor Moon defeats the evil Lord Zed. Much more handy to have around on you. The huge flip, although this is fun and all to have the bigger one, but... Probably less likely to be carrying this around. Although that is what I liked about them, is that I could kind of carry this around with me more than all of my Power Ranger toys or something like that. I could just take all the spin fighters of a lot of the characters around. And I can do plenty of little fights. Uh, if you have somewhere to do them with, like, the arena, like... This one's from the Deluxe set in Japan. I have a whole video about that you can check out. That's a cool arena. I like the bumpy... Part of that you can get a good look at that i got videos about the turbo launchers uh, we'll do a video about double launchers soon here and just the whole playlist of spin fighter stuff u.s releases and lots of japan releases that you might not have seen so get subscribed and check out all those videos they're worth a watch